This video shows how to make a dropout that blends smoothly with the chain stay and the seat stay. You notice that there's a split here and here in the stays. And that this end portion of this stay and this end portion of this stay are actually part of the dropout. These portions and the dropout are actually an aluminum casting which is welded to the stays which are aluminum tubes. If I change the the stays to be transparent, you can see how these are hollow tubes and this is a single solid part. By making these portions part of the dropout, it provides convenient surfaces for the tubes to be neatly welded to the dropout. To achieve this, we will be using a new command called split which is found here on the command manager or here on the main menu. I will roll back the feature tree to demonstrate the process. As always, I always like to use a layout sketch to control everything. Here we see the stays intersecting the body of the dropout. A roll forward and show the chain stay and the seat stay, which are both lofts using guide curves. A roll forward one more step and show the body of the dropout which is unmerged with the stays and you can see passes through the bodies of the stays. At this point it's convenient to add radii or fillets to the edges of the dropout because these edges are not being interrupted by the stays. I will also take the opportunity to do a little trimming on the ends of the stays so that they will blend smoothly into the dropout. Now I can either do a trim like this, which is commonly found on bikes, or I could simply add fillets to the ends of the dropouts to achieve this type of a blend. Regardless of what type of blend I choose, I'm now ready to split off these ends of the stays and combine them with the dropout. This is where the split command is going to come into play. Here I've drawn a sketch that will be used to split this stay into a piece here and a piece here that will be divided by this line and this stay by a piece here and a piece here that will be divided by this line. This sketch is actually on the front plane, but it doesn't matter that it is not intersecting with the stays because when I use the split command, this sketch will be used as a knife edge that will project in an infinite direction perpendicular in both directions from the plane that the sketch was drawn on. So let's see how this command will work. I'll choose split and here I have trim tools. The tool I want to use to trim these apart is going to be the sketch that I made earlier. So I'll click on the sketch and I'll select cut part. If I mouse over these parts, it highlights how these parts will be split by these lines. I will select this part, this part, this part, and this part. Click the green check mark, and now these have been split by a clean line with no gap between them.